In this video, we're going to take a, uh, just a brief look at using the place node tool and the um, recently added um, catch mint delineation option that's now part of the place node tool. So I'm going to go ahead and, and start the tool and select my feature definition and um, go ahead and select my reference um, terrain for my reference elevation. And when you select a terrain, you'll notice that the dialog will change and you will be able to now define the catchment feature because I have catchment delineation toggled on. So once that terrain is selected it recognizes that you can use that and it goes ahead and adds the feature definition option. Um, so at this point I'm going to go ahead and uh, just place the node. So I'm going to come in here and um, place the catch basin. And I'll go ahead and just kind of snap to the flow line here and rotate it. And <coughs> it will place the node as always, but it will also go ahead and place the catchment there. So let me uh, turn off the view of the contours, help us out a little bit. And you can see there's the catchment it placed. So I'm going to go ahead and, and maybe go to another location a little further downstream and place another catchment. So we'll go ahead and um, initiate the tool, select my terrain model, <coughs> turn on catchment delineation, and I'll go ahead and snap again to the flow line and rotate it. And you can see this particular catchment, if I look at it, you can see it stops at the one, the next one up. So it understands that there's another one there. Let me move further down and we'll place one here. Again, same principle. I'm going to select a terrain. I can select it over here just as well. Hopefully. There you go. And we'll just come in here and do a tentative to there. And here's a case where it went, you know, you can see it's gone all the way down to the bottom. So now I'm going to go ahead and put one more in here. And I'm going to initiate the placement here. Rotate it a little bit. <coughs> and you can see that it's gone ahead and now split the original catchment. So I've now got this one, that catchment, and then I've also got the, um, the catchment, just the piece up there. So I've got this catchment here. This is now stops there. So that's the uh, place uh, node with the catchment delineation toggled on. And if you were to move the node or for any reason and you needed to um, let me go ahead and turn off a uh, 3D view real quick. So turn off my If I click and hover, you can see update catchment, or if I move the node, it will update the, the catchment as well. So as I move the node to a new location, let's say, it'll update the catchment as needed. So that's the place uh, node tool with the catchment delineation toggled on.